Hey guys, this is Jasur from Shanghai Silk Road. And in this video, I want to answer a question uh, which I received from, uh, from one of our viewers on YouTube. He's asking if, how can they set up uh, AliExpress uh, store? Okay, there's a, there's a store called AliExpress for people who don't know. Okay, AliExpress is owned by Alibaba Group. And it's basically, you know, a website, a marketplace in English uh, for customers outside China. Okay, you, you can go to aliexpress.com and start purchasing items there. Very, very cheap. And uh, how can you start a store there? So, hey guys, uh, now we are on AliExpress uh, seller page, basically. So if you want to register a store on AliExpress, uh, all you have to do is come to this page, sell.aliexpress.com. So as you can see here, uh, it's got all the information you need. Uh, it says open your store on AliExpress and uh, reach millions of buyers all over the world, etc. So uh, to start the process, you have to click on this big button, join AliExpress. But before that, let me show you some uh, you know information they put here for the new sellers. So okay, uh, first thing all you have to do is uh, uh, have a current business, uh, registered business, VAT number and ID number of company legal representative and uh, estimated process time, they say only two days. But uh, one thing uh, I need to clarify here, legal representative, uh, it's uh, in Chinese, they call the director a legal representative, okay? So don't assume that this is not uh, your company lawyer. This is the director of your company. Okay, so for example, if you have a company in your country, uh, you you're like in Chinese terms, you're you're called a legal representative, not the director. So basically, this is the meaning here. Uh, and another thing is, uh, they don't clarify here in the beginning that uh, your company should only be you know registered in uh, certain countries. Okay like they only accept five countries for now all right as uh, international you know sellers uh, or you have to register a Chinese entity here so if you're not from those five countries uh, your only option will be to register a Chinese company WFOE or Wufi and then start you know opening your Aliexpress store so which countries I will show you later on uh, if you uh, keep watching the next thing is uh, they give you some information about the charges so if you run any store on eBay or Amazon or Etsy uh, you should know that those uh, platforms multi-vendor platforms they operate on transactions okay uh, so there are certain fees they charge for uh, you know every transaction from every transaction Aliexpress operates the same way so the commission fee is only charged on the actual store transactions uh, in the range of five eight percent okay depending on the items and categories obviously and last thing is about the the payment uh, system orders shipped will be paid immediately after the buyer confirms the receipt okay so your buyer should confirm the receipt before you get the paid okay uh, does not apply in case of a risk high risk transactions from suspicious accounts obviously so, okay, I suggest once you're on this page, uh, I suggest you go through all the details, okay? They might be helpful for you in the future. Uh, let's continue, okay? Uh, we click on this button and it will take us to the registration page. Um, all right, so I'm going to use, uh, again, another very important thing here is you have to use a uh, new email okay you cannot use your existing aliexpress email because uh, this time uh, we are creating an account for selling okay not for buying so i'm going to use a new email that i've just created uh, okay uh, so uh, you can do the same and uh, just enter your password repeat okay and then just uh, oops and uh, you just have to slide this thing for verification and agree continue all right so i'm going to go and check my email now for the verification code so okay guys this is the code i got into my email they sent uh, i'm going to submit now And then we're going to go on to the next uh, 
step, basically business information. In here, uh, basically you you have to choose uh, the country which I mentioned. Your business is registered right now. Uh, they only accept these five countries: Italy, Spain, Turkey, uh, France. So say that your business is registered one of these countries. Uh, you can open your Alipay, uh, AliExpress store. If your company is not registered in the, one of these jurisdictions, you have to register a Chinese, uh, you know, company, and then you can carry on. So, okay, for example, this one. If we select Italy, uh, it gives us, you know, uh, for example, uh, you know, we have to choose company type. Basically, let's say it's limited liability company. And then, uh, obviously, you have to enter all the other details, all right? Uh, it's VAT information, tax information, company uh, name, company, uh, you know, basically telephone number, all the details of your company. And then, lastly, you have to enter the bank account. So, after that, uh, you click Next, uh, and then you will go to the application review. Uh, in the beginning, uh, they said that it will take... Uh, only two days, yeah, which is true. I have all, uh, already gone through with this, and uh, after two days, uh, your application will be approved, and your store will be open, basically, which is true for free. Okay, you don't have to pay anything to open a store. However, to operate the store, you know, you have to pay certain amount. Okay, Ali AliExpress store is not for free, technically speaking, because uh, there is a like a uh, uh, annual fee that you have to pay. Uh, I'm going to show you my, uh, you know, dashboard, my own dashboard, and then uh, you can see the annual fees there, all the details, okay? So, all right, guys, this is the, uh, once your account is open with AliExpress store, uh, you know, seller account, this is your dashboard, okay? Uh, now, I haven't, you know, provided my, you know, billing account, company's co corporate billing account documents yet, so I need to complete that step. But anyway, uh, as I promised, uh, the, the only thing I want to show you is uh, the annual payments, okay, here. After paying the annual fee, you can open your store, meaning that right now you only have a dashboard. You cannot operate your store yet, okay. So please note the annual, annual fee will be valid uh, based on specific time. We highly suggest you do not pay the fee on first of every month to avoid incorrect activation time. So basically, uh, whatever they say here, I suggest you follow the, these guidelines. And uh, if you have any questions, you can contact them directly because just to avoid any you know misunderstanding. So all right, let's go to the annual fee and categories list 2019. I click here. It gives it all in Chinese, guys, uh, because I'm using, you know, Chrome translation services uh, just for demonstration purposes because my company is in China. That's why I registered as a Chinese entity. Okay, I'm going to show you in a moment. Uh, if you have a Chinese company, uh, the, the link uh, you have to go is slightly different. So uh, we translated the page using Chrome translation. So, uh, AliExpress 2009 annual technical service annual fee list. Okay, it's a little slightly wrong translation, but anyway, you get the point, right? So, in here, as you can see, business category, jewelry watches, for example, it's 10,000. Okay, you have to pay 10,000 USD. All right, that's all in USD, guys. Okay, here we go. It's USD. So, uh, category that can be released under a large category. Okay, translation again, a little bit wrong, but still. Uh, these are the items you can sell under this category, okay? And uh, whether to open basic sales plan, yes, you can open. And 50% annual fee corresponding to annual sales, 5,000. And return, 100% annual fee corresponding to annual sales, 30,000. Okay, so there are all these details. So once you get to your dashboard, uh, you get access to these details, okay? Uh, investment plan. Uh, seller story, you know, all these different things. So basically, you can scroll down and all these categories, as you can see, clothing, wedding dress, uh, beauty care, etc., etc., okay? All of them, they are, they cost, okay? Okay, some of them cost you e-cigarettes, for example. Some of them cost you $30,000 a year, 
Okay, they're not free. So whoever says to you that AliExpress store is free, they are either misinformed or they don't know. All right. So let me show you if you have a Chinese company. Let me show you how to register or where to register from. Okay. So okay, guys. Uh, once you click on that registration button, as as we've been in on this page before, uh, it goes to this creating page account, right? So imagine if you have a Chinese company, you don't have to fill this form, but you have to go to this uh, up, uh, you know, top right corner, okay, and then click on this. All right. If I click on this, it will take me to the Chinese registration page. All right. Here we go. This is the Chinese registration page. Okay, uh, internet is a little slow. All right, uh, so as you can see, all in Chinese. I have to provide my email address and then do the verification thing and then uh, click agree and click next. So basically, all the steps are the same. You have to provide the business information. And lastly, you have to, uh, you know, uh, it goes uh, application review, last step. And then it takes only two days for AliExpress to approve your account, and then you take it from there. You pay your annual fee, and then you can start uploading your items on your store. Basically, you all start fully operating. Uh, that's it, basically. In two days, uh, if you manage to pay your annual fee, then you will have AliExpress store. Okay, guys, I hope this video uh, will be helpful for some uh, people who are interested in uh, starting AliExpress store. And if you need help, don't forget, you can always contact us with the company registration in China and in Hong Kong mainly. But we can help you register uh, companies in different countries as well. Please uh, contact us. If you have any questions related to doing business in China, living in China, do not hesitate to leave uh, in the comment section below. Uh, we will be happy to address them in next videos. All right, guys. See you next time. Thank you. If you want help with uh, company registration in China, you can contact us. We can do it uh, very easily and efficiently for you. Uh, it only takes one month and uh, another a maximum 30 days for your work visa in China. And then after that, you can relocate to China, start running your company. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, stay up to date uh, for more information uh, about doing business and living in China. See you next time.